Welcome. Once again, we've just come back from this year's Collaborate for OAUG and Quest. Woohoo! And once again, we would like to share with you some of the topics that we saw going on around the show. And I have to tell you, one of the hottest topics going was to stack or not to stack. In other words, how do I get my business answers out of my ERP and what is the best solution overall from both a technical perspective, but also, and very importantly, from the perspective of what is best for your business users. My name is Glenn Weirich. I'm the head of our product management team here at InsightSoftware.com, and we'll be talking about what we think are some of your viable options for solving this issue. So let's further define what we mean by this issue. CFO.com says there's a lot of pressure on organizations to take in raw data and turn it into useful information in a time frame that suits the business. Interestingly, we've been talking about solving this challenge for two decades now. Why is that? I'd like you to consider, are your business users sitting in their cubes and at their desks and in their offices saying, I wish I had to run one more report, please build me another one? Or are they really looking for business answers to do their jobs quickly and effectively? What I would suggest to you is that if the focus is on enabling the business user instead of report building, you're likely to get a more positive outcome. What we would say is necessary is something that is pre-built so the information is at the fingertips of the end user fully complete and flexible. So whether a finance user, an inventory user, a job cost user, all the answers can be easily ascertained and therefore comprehensive so that it can be used by the whole organization. Now here's the real key. Something that for a business user with little or no training whatsoever can create views of information in minutes and not days. So what does this thing we call more answers look like? Well, it starts with a go live event that literally takes an hour. Delivering business visibility dramatically improve very often within the first day. What kind of visibility might I obtain? First of all, real time financial consolidations. The kinds of consolidations that someone might invest many months and many dollars into something like a Hyperion solution. Integrated budgeting and forecasting that works live with your real-time J.D. Edwards information and is fully built into this product, which goes live in less than a day. Next, real-time analytics. Not just analytics with the power of traditional business intelligence, but analytics that work over your real-time data to answer meaningful questions of the moment, not having to rely on staged data in a data warehouse. And what's very key to all of this is that your business users have a very easy interface where they can do ad hoc data investigation and get the answers in a self-service way. So let's look at what this all means. First of all, let's talk about the live in one hour business visibility in a day. Now I could open some software and show you what we really mean by that. However, what we're really talking about is instant gratification. So what's the best way that I can prove to you that this is actually possible? We encourage our prospects to load our software free of charge in that one hour, run it over your business data, let our consultants support you at no charge so that you can actually verify whether all the things I'm showing you today are indeed possible. And what this means for you is saving time and increasing knowledge and being able to verify that you're meeting your business user needs before you've actually invested in the solution. Next, I'd like to talk about real-time financial consolidations. And as we look at software here, I want you to keep in mind this isn't just financial consolidations for the purposes of finance, but also for the purpose of totally enabling your stakeholders to run the business, seeing financial answers in a way that makes sense for them, even though they don't live in the finance group. In this first example, we're jumping into Insight Software now. This is live software working over a live ERP environment. It happens to be J.D. Edwards in this case. And we're looking at a consolidated executive income statement. And in this case, we're viewing it through the casual business user interface, which we call the console. From the console, a business user with no training can actually use what would traditionally be a report as live interactive self-service information. For example, the way this was published to me, I have four different companies in my view. But for my job, I only care about company three. 
So I'm able to edit the companies and now my consolidation reduces. But different than a consolidation tool like Hyperion, this consolidation is over live data. What benefit does that mean for me? It means I, for example, can begin to interrogate my information. So for example, I've opened up a more detailed view of my revenues in my Denver branch. And I can see that I actually have a negative variance highlighted in red. Now I want to show you some extra power that is only capable when you are looking at live data on your ERP. It is my ability to drill in real time to the lowest level of detail, where here I now see the exact GL transactions that total into the balance we were just looking at. I can toggle between the two. I can send my information, for example, off to Excel. So we'll notice quickly this just popped into Excel, where I can work with it further. You'll notice that the subtotaling and all the formatting showed up in Excel directly from the product. So this is what we mean by end users having the flexibility to really work with the information in a real-time way. Let's look at another example. Here we're still looking at financial information, but bear in mind that this is information delivered in a way that business users outside of finance can manage their operation. So for example, I have access to the profitability by industry for the products in my business division. And here I can see revenue, cost, etc. Now if I wanted to, I could drill, for example, to see which customers are contributing to this revenue. But in the interest of time, I think I'll look at a different example. Here I see my top 10 customers grossing the revenue into the numbers we've been looking at. And from here I will take a view of finding out what is my customer activity. Now for those of you that get this granular in your accounts receivable data, I'll highlight something that's a very challenging answer to get in J.D. Edwards. Here I have the gross amount for the accounts receivable for this customer and the cash receipt that they've paid us, therefore the open amount, as well as discounts, unapplied cash, chargebacks, and write-off. This would not be possible in a typical BI implementation because the level of detail is too low. This is not possible in J.D. Edwards because J.D. Edwards doesn't combine data in this type of a view. So hopefully this first example has really highlighted for you a quick, easy way for business users to understand what's going on in their operation from a standpoint of finance. The key benefit of this approach is an immediate enterprise-wide financial understanding. Many of our clients have told us that this capability and this level of visibility has driven meaningful improvements to their bottom line. Next, let's talk about integrated budgeting and forecasting. Again, I'm jumping into my Insight software application. I am still in that console casual business users view. But what I'm looking at here, you can see, is a budget input form. I'll highlight just a couple things to you. First of all, these actual amounts are coming live from J.D. Edwards right now in this moment. The budget numbers have been entered by a business contributor. To do so, the business contributor would click Enter Budget. Now you can see that these cells have come active. And not only am I as a budget contributor able to begin entering numbers, but this variance column is live and dynamic so that as I enter my budget numbers, I can immediately see the impact on any variance from my live J.D. Edwards actuals from last year relative to the budget I'm entering this year. Another key thing here is that we have full commenting. So as the business contributor, I can add comments in real time. Let's just do that. So that I can make sense of the entries that I'm making. The final point is we have full modeling capability. So if, for example, the owner of this budget wanted to set up a model that automatically spread the amounts across my seasonality for the year, that is fully possible. Again, the benefit of this type of an approach is that you're enabling a more agile enterprise as you're able to do budgeting typically on a monthly basis because the setup and management of budgeting becomes so much more easy while the visibility to the numbers and the understanding of the impact of your budgets and forecast is much more readily understood. Next, let's talk about real-time analytics. Now, analytics are often associated with traditional business intelligence solutions and they do bring some good value. But a challenge you typically have with that type of a solution is, first of all, can the business user really generate the answer they need right now or must they go to IT because it's too complicated to actually use the tool set? 
and can you apply those analytics to real-time information in the moment from the highest level of consolidation down to the lowest level of detail and typically because of the nature of data warehouses and cubes the answer to that second question is no let's look at how we can enable all those things in our first example we've taken standard purchase order information from the ERP and we've kind of bent it around to turn it into something much more meaningful for the business user now by the way it would take on average about 30 minutes for a power user a business professional to create the view that we're looking at and then with the click of one button publish it out to the typical casual business user as I am at this moment and what this enables me to do is to pick anything off of my item master and look at the average price that I'm paying for that item across all of the vendors that supply it to me and employing powerful analytics in a very simple way we've determined what the average price is that we pay for this particular item my network tracker and to which suppliers am I paying more than the average or less what I can see here very quickly and easily is that we pay century bit more money and give them more orders than any other vendor yet they cost hundred and ten percent more than the average for this part so let's see the power of real-time analytics in motion first of all if I'm paying them a premium I would certainly hope that this supplier is reliable so let's ask the question how reliable is this particular supplier I am now moving live through my ERP data to determine that CenturyBit actually has delivered a hundred percent of its deliveries late so I think I'd like to understand more about just how late those were and again using the flexibility of our tool to combine different tables together we've actually combined the receipts information with the purchase order information another challenging answer to sometimes get out of the native ERP screens and we've done a simple analytical calculation of the days late and what I can see that some of my orders have been 15 days late and some have been 23 days late again very rapidly I've answered the entire question from a quick simple view over my real-time data in my next example we're actually looking at data coming from two different database systems on the right side is the data coming from my ERP system and this is my GL transactions data on the left side is a third-party payroll system called ADP and what we want to ensure is that the payroll entries that we load in batch into the ERP match now, typically to combine data from two different systems you might consider a BI solution however the challenge of combining this type of data in a data warehouse is that to really get down to the meaningful answer you need more detail than what the warehouse will support here for example I am starting with a summarized view that might be more typical to BI where on a single line I can see each batch number that has come into JD Edwards from the third party system and we're using exception based formatting to highlight only when I have a problem so I can see that two of my batches do not balance now I can do what is challenging in BI once again same story as my last example I am drilling in real time down to the transactional details on both sides of two different systems here I've gotten down to the line item details in the payroll system that make up that batch likewise on the JD Edwards side I've gotten down to the meaningful detail jumping back then this solution highlights for me first of all that I have a problem between my two systems and enables me to drill down to identify exactly where the problem is occurring for my final analytics example I've pulled together what is typically a very difficult answer to get from your ERP in fact we've provided this view to many of our JD Edwards and EBS customers because they haven't ever had such an easy way to answer this question very simply what we've done and when I say we I actually happen to be the one that built this particular view you're looking at and I can tell you it took about 35 minutes including all formatting layout everything you're seeing what we've been able to do is combine the purchase order information with the invoice information with the payment information with the goods received information to give the entire view of what items have I purchased have they been vouchered for invoice have they been paid and do my payments match the actual receipts without really inspecting any of the columns I can tell you that if this column is coming back with zeros then I'm in a happy place but if I'm coming back with a number in this column it tells me that my payments do not match my receipts very quickly I can drill once again of course through my live ERP data 
to understand what is past due relative to this receipt and this payment. Here I have the exact details, the payment numbers, the receipt numbers, as well as an analytic calculation that is days past due with conditional formatting that tells me how far out of my tolerance this is. These examples of real-time analytics highlight the benefit of turning formally complex data into simple business answers so that your people can do what they're intended to do, run the business effectively. The final piece to talk about is ad hoc and self-service capability. To make this point, I don't plan on showing you any more software because we've already looked at ad hoc and self-service in real time throughout all of my demo. And hopefully the benefit that you've been able to see from that is the live and instant delivery of information leads to quicker and better decisions, really enabling your business. So let's get back to the question we started the presentation with, to stack or not to stack? There's a particular red vendor out there that might encourage you to answer your financial consolidations and budgeting challenges with their Hyperion application. They might tell you that to solve the analytics problem, you need their OBIA, to do transactional reporting, you need OVR, and there are still certain types of reports for which you would need ERW. While you're thinking about that, I'd like you to consider whether ordering everything on the menu is the best way to solve your information challenges. Let's hear what the experts are saying. Bloor Research Group, a third-party industry research firm, has recently done a very comprehensive paper on the reporting and BI options available to you in the J.D. Edwards and general ERP space. We think it's one of the better papers written on this subject, and uh, therefore we are offering it on our website. You can download it at info.insightsoftware.com forward slash 2013 underscore blore report dot html. That's a bit of a mouthful. I'm going to keep it up there on the screen for just a moment. In this paper, the author makes the comment, it will make much more sense to consider a single purpose-built solution that addresses the breadth of financial and business information requirements holistically as a possible alternative to the Oracle stack. Now, one of my favorite parts of this paper is on page 6, where there is a detailed comparison of your reporting options, including Oracle products, Insight Unlimited is included, as well as some other options, in a very detailed way that I think will really shed light on the strengths and weaknesses of the different options you have. We would also encourage you to go to our website, insightsoftware.com forward slash customers, where you can see many case studies of how customers have solved the same kind of challenges you're looking at in very rapid and meaningful ways. So let's get back to solving the problem as stated by CFO.com. The problem of turning large volumes of enterprise data into meaningful business answers. First, of course, we would really encourage you to focus first on enabling the business and giving those business users the answers they need to do their jobs. Now, of course, to solve the business answers problem, your solution must be very robust and have great capability. But the focus of that solution should be on enabling business users to answer meaningful questions rapidly, not on just building more and more reports and running more reports and printing more reports. Second, listen to the experts. Again, we would highly encourage you to download that Blow Research Report. Uh, I find it to be one of the best papers published on that subject. Next, check out how some of our customers have solved these very challenging issues in fairly quick and simple ways. And most of all, if you're interested in any of this, please take us up on our offer to install the software, experience what instant gratification feels like in a one-hour go-live with your business users immediately gaining improved visibility. Thank you very much for your time.